In this session we're going to talk about the RSS feed. RSS feeds have been around for a while in email platforms and, and other such items. It's a great way of getting information to you automatically. Getting the information or current events from an exterior source or from a company intranet site to your particular team, channel or mail client, your collaboration tool of choice automatically and when you need it. So we're going to have a look at setting that up now within Microsoft Teams. So as some of you know, I love Game of Thrones and now it's finally come to an end. What are we going to do with ourselves? But it doesn't stop the conversations continuing on your collaboration platform of choice. My collaboration platform of choice is indeed Microsoft Teams, as we know. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a channel to talk and invite people all about Microsoft Teams. I'm going to call it the Night's Watch, those vanguards who sit on the wall between North and South protecting us or protecting the Game of Thrones universe from the nasty White Walkers and people who live beyond the wall. I'm going to give it a nice description, which is always good practice when creating a team so people know what it's all about. And once I've done this, I'm going to start adding people who I know are true fans of Game of Thrones like me within my MS Teams environment, my Office 365 environment. So I'm going to add a few people in just as a bit of team management. Now, creating a team specifically for this topic of Game of Thrones means that I should keep all the Game of Thrones conversations in one area and out of the sales area or the finance area or other conversations as well. Now, it's always good practice as well to have at least two owners on every team. And we discussed this in our Create a Team video that we did several weeks ago. So that's it. Our team has indeed been created. The Night Night's Watch. And it's populated with the general tab, the general team. And in that we've got several tabs as well, mainly conversations. Now with all my Microsoft Teams solutions, I tend to add a specific icon for them so that a picture can speak over 60,000 words, as they say. The, the brain pushes a picture faster than text. So by having a little icon um, that refers to the Night's Watch, I think will be absolutely cherry for this. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna add one. So there we have the Night's Watch. Up to the root of that, we're going to click on the icon, a little pencil, into uploading a file. Here we go. There's a collaboration kernel icons and also a Night's Watch one, a nice little crest. We'll use that. And that will be our icon assigned to our team. So that's our Game of Thrones team created. Now let's talk a little bit about having a news feed. Um, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to set up a channel called News or Game of Thrones News Feed. And as a result of that, that's going to result in whatever we're going to put it in referring to news. So we're going to have an RSS feed. You could quite easily put a YouTube link in for YouTube videos of Game of Thrones. Or you could put some Power BI or, you know, an Excel sheet or a Word document or even a map detailing the locations of Ireland of where it was all filmed. Completely up to you. But either way, what I'm saying is, is that how you configure this channel is going to be completely up to you. And how you surface that information is going to be completely up to you. Anyway, so we're going to create a channel. We're going to call that channel uh, Game of Thrones News Feed or Game of Thrones News. A little bit of a description again. Loads of best practices to use here. Get into the habit of making a best practice. We're going to make everybody in that particular team that we've added... That channel is going to be a favorite for them. So it will become at the top of their list. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add this RSS feed. Now, from the conversations tab, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to click on and we're going to add a connector. Now, click on the ellipsis at the top. You see the section for connectors. We're going to click on that. We're going to scroll down. We're going to find RSS and we're going to add it. Now, if it hasn't been installed already, you will have to install it and do that by clicking on install. Dead easy. If not, as soon as you click add, it'll be into that one particular channel. So now you get the choice of having to add in what you want to call this particular RSS feed. So it's a Game of Thrones RSS feed. 
Excellent. Then you have the option of putting in the location of your RSS feed. Now make sure you get the right feed. Now I've put the wrong feed in here now to illustrate what it's like getting the wrong feed. And also you can then select how often you want that RSS feed to update Microsoft Teams. So we're choosing the default of six hours. Now we've clicked on save and the box containing the RSS feed has started to glow red, meaning there's a problem with that feed address. So go back out, find the right address, pop it in there, and then when you're ready, you can click on save. Now, make sure you get the right address. You can get it from Google and RSS feeds, or you can get it from a particular fight, uh, site that is talking about the topic that you wanna make the RSS feed from. So clicking on save, pops that in straight away. And then as soon as that RSS feed is done, you will find that it'll start popular in the chat channel. And the links can be clicked. And if you get the wrong link, obviously you're going to get an issue like I had. Other links are going to work perfectly fine as well. And you know, a good way of doing this is keeping up to date on all the news of Game of Thrones or whatever topic you put in there, whether it be finance, HR, whether it be current news events, stocks and shares. Those RSS feeds can be put into the channel of your choice. Obviously it hasn't got to be Game of Thrones like what we're using. Um, and you get the information surfaced to you through the Microsoft Teams hub in a format that is consumable to you, whether it be on a mobile device, on a Chromebook, on a Mac, or on a PC. So there you go. We've created our RSS feed for Game of Thrones in our Game of Thrones Microsoft Teams channel. Couldn't be easier. There you have it. So what happens if you get a little bit sort of disenchanted with your RSS feed? How would you get rid of it? Well, it's not really that straightforward, so we're going to go through it. So we're going to go on to the connection and we're going to click that, the top ellipsis of where you got your RSS feed. What we're going to do then is we're going to go down to where it says configured. We're going to click on that just below the managed section and you'll see you've got configure. Now configure at the top is going to let you put a new one in. The section at the bottom says manage. Now where it says manage you click on that section and that's going to let you amend the RSS feed that you've put into your Microsoft team channel or you can indeed remove it or you can rename it. This is where you administer your RSS feed. So as you can see now we can say remove and then you can do some settings for Microsoft should you want to, why are you removing it, tell us more about it, should it be really probably on a blacklist or something like that. Click on remove, bang, it's gone and there will be a notice then displayed in the Microsoft chat conversation that you as an administrator have removed that RSS feed and you can see it right there. Now Unfortunately, what it doesn't do, it doesn't historically remove all the RSS feeds that have gone into this particular chat conversation prior to you removing it. So that's something that you have to be aware of. So that effectively is how you add an RSS feed. And of course, we've used Game of Thrones and also how you remove a Microsoft Teams RSS feed from the channel of your choice. As we've said, RSS feeds are a fantastic way of getting the information to you in a consumable way across any device. Making sure you don't miss a trick, making sure you don't miss that important news update that could affect your business. Now, obviously we've had a little bit of fun here and whether your social collaboration policy allows the sharing of things like Game of Thrones in your corporate is down to you. But I've been the Collaboration Colonel and thank you very much for watching. This has been a video on RSS feeds and Microsoft Teams. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Happy collaborating.